And now we'll get into our Dinosaur of the Day Yinlong, which was a request from PaleoMike716 via our Patreon and Discord. So thank you. It was a Ceratopsian that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now Xinjiang, China, about 161 to 155 million years ago. It was found in the Shishugo Formation. It's one of the earliest known Ceratopsians, and it's the first unquestionable Jurassic Ceratopsian species. <laughs> like definitive, unquestionable, all the adjectives that get thrown in to make this find the really important one, according to the authors. Yes. We did mention it briefly in our milestone episode, 450, our celebration of Ceratopsians, but it was worth going into much more detail because I think we only talked about it for less than a minute. It was small. It was about 3.9 feet or 1.2 meters long and weighed up to 22 pounds or 10 kilograms. It also probably walked on two legs and had shorter arms and long legs. Its arms were less than 40% the length of the legs, which is why we think it walked on two legs. It had long, robust legs and shorter, more slender arms with three fingers on each hand. It had a deep, wide skull. Its skull was proportionally larger relative to its body. It's larger than most Ornithischians, but smaller than other Ceratopsians. It didn't have a frill. It didn't really have horns. There is another Ceratopsian that lived around the same time and also didn't have horns. That's Hualien Ceratops, which was named in 2015. Yinlong had a small rostral bone at the end of the upper jaw. It's that beak at the tip of the snout. And that's what makes it a ceratopsian. Because surprisingly, it doesn't have to do with the frill or the horns. Yeah. I mean, I guess we should know that because there are the little ceratopsians that don't have frills and horns. But the name, ceratopsian. Yeah. It's all about the horns. Well, this one is a little one that didn't have frills or horns. <laughs> the type species is Yinlong Downsai. The genus name means hidden dragon, and yes, it does refer to the movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, because <laughs> a lot of that movie was filmed in Xinjiang, near where the fossils were found. Oh, that's interesting. The species name is in honor of the paleontologist William Randall Downs III, who often took part in paleontological expeditions to China and who passed away the year before Yinlong was found. And those fossils were found in 2004, and then Yinlong was named in 2006 by Xu Xing and others. The holotype is well-preserved and includes a skull. It's only missing part of the tail. It's probably a subadult based on some openings on the vertebrae. Seven gastroliths were also found with the holotype, and they were about one to one and a half centimeters in diameter, or roughly half an inch, and they were exposed within the rib cage, and they were proportionally large relative to the dinosaur's body size. So that means it would have swallowed gastroliths to help it digest plants. Now, Yinlong had a mix of features. There was some ornamentation at the back of its skull, which before it was thought to be a thing only pachycephalosaurs had. As a side note, ceratopsians and pachycephalosaurs, they're part of the same clade of ornithischians called marginal cephalia. And so Yinlong helps show that pachycephalosaurs and ceratopsians are indeed part of that group. It also helps show that later ceratopsians lost a lot of those marginocephalian features and evolved their own features early on. Now, Yinglong also had features in the skull similar to heterodontosaurids, which helps show heterodontosaurids are close relatives of marginocephalians. However, later studies didn't actually support this. Although, a 2020 study did find heterodontosaurids to be a group within pachycephalosaurs. Yinlong helps show that ceratopsians evolved the beak and large triangular head early on, but didn't evolve the frill and the large bodies that required walking on all fours until the early Cretaceous. There was a 2015 study of the skull and jaws that found that Yinlong had a lot of features in common with Cetacosaurus and Neoceratopsians, and Neoceratopsians include dinosaurs like Triceratops. There was one small specimen that also had a canine-shaped tooth in the premaxilla at the front of the jaw, which could be sexual dimorphism or could be individual variation. Canine in a Ceratopsian skull. That's mm. interesting. Yes. Well, canine-shaped. Yeah. A 2017 study of nine skeletons of Yinlong, which were all well-preserved, found more features that were unique to ceratopsians, like details in the hips, specifically a blade-like prepubic process. That's this bony extension that extends forward from the hip socket toward the front of the animal. Yinlong lived on marshland near a small mountain range with volcanoes. Some other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include, well, there's the ceratopsian Hualien ceratops, as well as the stegosaurid Giangjunosaurus sauropods such as Mementosaurus, and theropods including the toothless Lemusaurus and the Tyrannosauroid Guanlong. Some other animals that lived around the same time and place include pterosaurs, crocodilomorphs, early mammals, and turtles. 